School's getting out early. Hello everyone! Happy Monday! And happy Monday. Snow's not here, hitting here yet. Nope, not yet. But school will be early release. I think two, yep. So, we've got a couple things to cover today. We're going to make an iced tea. We're thinking positive spring, summer weather. Yep, we sure are. Brewed some black tea, unsweetened. We're going to make a detox tea. So, basically, we're going to add some lemon and orange vitality oils to it. So good. So good. And then we've got some of the Young Living Blue Agave to sweeten it. Because I don't like mine real sweet. Right. I just don't like it, like just like that right yeah I have done that um, I was a Lipton Ooh. oh yeah my little nails lemon and um, sugar Lipton the powdered Ooh, that's so good but yeah it's not good for not you. good for us so this we're gonna see what happens here we'll play around we got a couple of spoons and we can doctor um, what was it a, a couple drops of each or one do you remember Let me see, I got it. sorry I didn't print that one off no no it's all good let's see here. so we'll play around with that Two lemon, two orange. Two lemon, two orange. Oh, three orange. Three orange. Can't read. Those are good in a big glass. And a serving size is a tablespoon, which I'm probably not going to stir. Agave? That's like a That's lot. That's a lot. So I'm probably not going to put that much no. in. We use this, those two to stir this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a good teaspoon in. Sure. How much do you want to try? That's probably fine. All right. Because the oils really make it amp up the flavor anyway. Definitely. So I'm definitely. like, there's it brings no out, point. Yeah. I'd rather not. And that's Young Living's Blue Agave? This is Young Living's. You could use like raw sugar or whatever you like to use. Stevia. Stevia. Some people whatever. I mean, like to drink tea without anything in it. Yeah. I would it's right on flavor. But, um, so we're going to do two and these are the Vitality, lemon and orange. And three of them. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to give them a stir. What's going on here? One, two. You could, um, we've seen a lot of other re um, oil recipes or tea recipes. You did. Sorry, i got to find the whole course. Yeah, orange is not usually, I have not use that one a lot. So maybe. Come on. Two. You can just already smell it. Got right, your okay. third one. Thank you. So give it a little stir. And we can always adjust from there. We, we both do. really like lemon, water, orange, yes. everything. What I like about this is, you know, it's going to taste good. It's something I drink anyway, but it also is a good detox. So Agreed. if you need. Get this puppy. Let's try this. Tastes like tea. It's good. It's not lipped and sweetened. No, it is not lipped and sweetened. So I'd maybe, if I was really being good, I'd maybe add just a little more blue agave. And also, I'm not used to that flavor versus sugar. Exactly. But it definitely is pleasant. I but it's just definitely, it's it's like a little tea. To me, it's like tea flavor with oil. You could yeah. even up the O's if you really wanted to Actually, or add I a lemon. I'm doing that, yeah. You could put a different, you could put yeah. a lemon in there or citrus or some, fresh. Some mm. mint, some citrus fresh. I think citrus fresh because it has that spearmint in it. Yeah, that would be really good. I think that's what I would that do. That would be really good. So, see, we always make this first so we have that while we're talking about everything else. Mm -hmm. And so, that one's a good one. Delish. That will definitely be good. And you could probably do it warm just as well, mm -hmm. but um, this, we're, we're thinking positive. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, uh, you know, these big snowstorms are going to make things grow and I hope and so. Hopefully this is it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. So on to our next. We have a lot of fun products. I know we've probably talked about them. Want to start with the books? You can start with these ones. Yeah. We talked about some books because we get a lot of questions and someone, some <laughs> we're working on ideas for um, Baby Brecken when he comes yeah. and safe options. Remember we talked to you about the Think Dirty app? Check your products out. Um, every product. You every can scan product. them. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I've been sharing with some other team members. You can literally uh, go on. The Young Living doesn't have it, but um, the most, barcode. Any other barcode. Yes. Um, I was going to bring. I have a hair product that I have saved and used. Yep. Um, a, a salon brand name. Um, 
product that I've been using and it's toxicity level seven and it's like, you know what, I'm not gonna use it. So. Some are ten, like some right. hairsprays. And ten is the worst, isn't it? Ten is the worst in uh detergents. Like right. check yourself out, folks. Because it really makes a difference. I mean yeah. and um we we're just talking diapers, we were looking at diaper options. Yep. Um and um the name stuff you buy in the store that has that sweet little baby on it, um a lot of them are seven and above. Seven and above, so right out the gate. That you're putting on that baby that you don't just do once, and our skin absorbs whatever, so it goes in. So and lotions in. and creams and everything. Mm -hmm. So just check, just and give it, just give it an honest go, and and then you can make your own determination. If that's what you love, you love. I mean, right. That's your choice, but I like to be informed. I want to, I want to know too that we, mm -hmm. you know, the stuff we thought was okay wasn't. And like I said, the hair stuff I was buying, I thought you know a salon quality, and I thought right. it was okay. It was a seven, and it's like. You know, I'm going to choose my battles. And, and under five is usually, under three is better. One to three is what they say for, yeah. like, the green. Uh, four, five, six is kind of mm, um, yellow. Well, under five, f three to five or four to five are yellow. And then anything over five is usually red. Like, mm -hmm. uh, has a lot of allergenic, could be hormone disruptors, male and female, which, which is kind of creepy. It's creepy because the more you read about what that kind of do can do to the little ones... And then the from a young age, right? The and even what we're doing right now, maternally, right? You know, while they're growing. So yes, well, and even and and again, possible cancer causing ingredients. I mean, over and over, fragrance, fragrance, fragrance. We need to so avoid read your that. Stuff. Yeah, read your stuff. Yeah, yeah. So and they've got some products we'll talk about that are already yep. made, but also here's some, two resources of um, books, and I'm sure there's others with safe products you can make. We just were looking through them a little bit. Gentle Baby, Steph has a copy. Hers is a little bit different. Mine's the fourth edition. Hers is Mine's up. the fifth. Um, um, neat ideas, things to do the whole time you're pregnant mm -hmm. and after for mom and baby, just ideas and information. Um, I don't know, does this one have, yeah, I mean, just talk about oils, talks about diluting, does this one, yes, this one does diluting too. Just they have like a, a wellness chart, um, they talk about, there's testimonies in the back, they have some food, yeah. I think. Lots of information. Super awesome. So like just random thing, like if you have uh, potentially, let's see, so for like circumcision. Right. And I know they give you stuff at the hospital, but if you wanted a different option... Rose ointment. Mm -hmm. We talk about using that. So, I mean, just kind of for your own whatever. So, yeah. Gentle Babies, awesome. Yeah, we really like the book. It's for, and it's not just for babies, it's for kids too, because they talk about dilution rates, they talk about over five, under five, newborn, all that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I don't know if you Melissa Pepping that does the Savvy Minerals, the makeup line from Young Living That's Safe, before she was doing, well, she was making that, before she was known for that, she created um, the Chemical Free Home, Volume 1, 2, and 3. And Volume 3 deals with babies. There's a ton of really cool recipes in here. She even talks about a section on um, making baby food, and she adds oils to them. I to mean, baby like a food. toothpick to baby food. Like so there's a chicken one in here we were just reading, wasn't it? A yeah. little chicken. It, and it has a, drop, a toothpick drop each of thyme and oregano. Um, That's awesome. Fall harvest, your apples and stuff, you're going to use um, a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg, blueberry applesauce. Um, like using the oils, actual oils. That's and it's awesome. going to do, it's going to make it taste better, but it's also going to support and help them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so cool. But here's, an, I mean, she, her other two books are on all kinds of products, too, like that you can make. So there's some options t to um, support, you know, chemical-free awesome. home. So or a more, really, less harsh uh, chemical. Less harsh, yes. So more of a chemical balance I right. guess right mm-hmm okay so let's talk about the seeding line seedlings line we can open them up and okay so seedlings so Young Living came out this last June at convention and uh, so this is their baby lotion it's pretty cool it smells really good it really does smell good um yeah it's dra 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 Oops, kind of geranium smell. right yeah it's like a geranium it's really good awesome love it they have yeah it's hard it's not in stock right now I know so I'm probably, mm -hmm. we're sending this home if we can't get one before. She's, I, it's all good. Otherwise, coconut oil and lavender work uh, swell right. or right. Um, peace and calming. But um, this diaper rash cream, I forgot the other one. So this is the seedlings line. Um, this one is, no, you know, for babies. They also have a tender tush. Um, I have that one as well, and I have this one. So I'm going to be 
seeing, but I guess this one, if you use it every diaper change, it's supposed to help prevent or whatever it says on here. The other one, if you get, you know, like your kids teething or if you do get, you know, butt rash, um, the tender tush is supposed to help like clear that up right away. You can always use the animal sense as well. Yeah, that's a really good one. I wonder mm -hmm. about rose ointment too. And probably a rose yeah, ointment. Because they have, um, the, have we shown how, what, here's the animal sense. Get a little spatula, dig some out. It's kind of like the rose ointment. That, I know they're reformulating both and see how it is. It's pretty like thick and, vi and viscous. Right, so if I'm putting like some oil on. It's like a salve, it's almost like, me. it's like a Vaseline consistency. Yeah. But with all the non junk With no it. petrochemicals. Mm -hmm. So and it gets, it's really good if you're um, super dry, uh -huh. um, at night for your feet and hands. Um, one of the dogs here, I put a little drop of oil, put a gob of that on, and I just work it in. We're healing her skin after, or supporting her skin healing. We're yep. with, with good food and, mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. So that would be another option of something good to use. If you don't have the lotion, you can also use this baby oil. Mm -hmm. um, it's safe, so it's not like the traditional baby oil that used to, you know, squirt on your skin and tan outside with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or rub on babies, right? Yeah. So this is actually, like, no junk. Um, let's see what it has for oils in it. It's apricot, so it has apricot kernel, which if you've ever looked up what apricot kernel does, um, truth about cancer, they talk about the apricot kernel. Safflower, prickly pear, lavender coriander, bergamot, um, ylang ylang, and geranium. So their whole line kind of smells like a marigold for yeah, like a marigold flower. It's really pretty. It's really nice. I love it. Um, I'm saving the best for last. So this is actually awesome. So you can put this on your baby skin, lock in the moisture also, or just, you know, organic coconut oil, or you can add lavender to it, a piece of combing. But these are by far that the best. That one's open to it, best. so go ahead and pull one out. Seriously, you guys. As an adult, I use these, but for babies, they're amazing. Yeah. I don't know on babies. I haven't used it on the baby, but they're very thick. Me and Diana love them. So they're like just... super thick and look, they're like, the smell is just awesome. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, I just love it. I love Great it. Great for washing your face. You can even mm -hmm. take it and cut it in half mm -hmm. and just remove your makeup at night. Um, I send them with Dean so in the awesome. truck. I've got one in, I've got like them in the bathroom. If you need a little yep. extra clean up power for whatever just oh, if you're going somewhere so and you want to wipe down your face or your armpits if you're sweaty or whatever yeah, and it smells bath. so good and safe yeah good for a bird bath it just you know awesome. those little babies start out birth and all those immunizations and just all the stuff going around right. if you can just provide any extra area of safety and oh, maybe i didn't what's that so maybe they don't have it in this one no, this is the only. This is the only one. This has coriander instead. This one is the one that the marigold flower this extract. This doesn't have. This has coriander. Yeah. Really. This one does too, but this one has the marigold Apricot, flower extract. Saffron. This also has witch hazel. So for moms, mm -hmm. if you're. Oops, I put it down. Okay, lavender, bergamot. Mm -hmm. Ylang ylang and geranium, mm -hmm. which I like the geranium too. So it's a I. good one. Yeah, so this one, that, this is the one that smells, we couldn't figure it out, we were using it last year, but it has the marigold scent, it's mm -hmm. pretty good, I like it. Mm -hmm. These are my favorite wipes on the market. I've tried a lot of different company wipes. Yeah, they're really nice. They're super I nice. I ordered them hand, me too. I'd well, I'm, I've am i kept them on my order, I'm going to hopefully You got your stocked up? I, well, I want to I want to gift my grandbaby, so yeah. Yeah, we're, I, I love them, I order them every month just for adults too, yeah. you know. But yes, for kids too. We're using them yeah, here too. So yeah, um, and and we talked about possibly doing some recipes if that would be beneficial as we're dealing with things and see in the book we'll do some things yep. that'll just some things you can make. Yep. Um, also, I was going to show you um, someone. I, I, people ask um, my little ones fussy. Not, well, 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 you know we need some tummy support. How? What do you do? So we, you, you're not going to just take this an oil and start slathering it on the baby mama can wear it um mm -hmm. or anyone around you can diffuse but a lot of times we just say even just a cap and just wave it under their nose mm -hmm. and let them smell mm -hmm. and they'll even i mean you wait they a lot of times turn their head 
for it for it yeah. to get to it and um, that's Waylon was really young when he would open his mouth even to try mm -hmm. to get more of it in but you, you can put it on their feet and then you can put it on their skin but it's a good way to start just yep. let them smell the cap they're, they're not gonna and not that this is dangerous but if they've accidentally get out you know put it on their mouth or drool on it you've contaminated it this just lets them have enough smell and you can just hold it and you can even so move like it a lot see. of gassy babies sometimes people yes, ask they, like what about what do I do you know do you give gripe water do you do the tablets do you do this a lot of times tummy jize is you know formulated just for, for kids. kids right and you can just take that cap and if you don't have that one you can use die jize mm -hmm. um, but yeah just the cap like we talked about and like you said just kind of a back and forth motion you can always dilute it take one drop multiple you know carrier oil mm -hmm. and put it on the feet you right. could um, do it on the belly if you're comfortable, but we always say just start with the nose mm -hmm. and start with the feet. Especially if you're new to oils. Especially if you're new. You know, Brecken's been exposed to the oils since the beginning. Yeah. You know, because been through you. Them. So mm -hmm. he's he's exposed to them and, you know, um, a household. But still you like always that. dilute with babies. Yes, always. And you always go less in the diffuser if you're using it in the room. Yep. So um, you can always just start with a couple drops and go from there. Yep, it really helps. We've seen it work. So yep. anyway, we are. we're going to look at some recipe ideas and work on that. Mm -hmm. um, what about these? Oh, products? yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang it. Good thing I am sitting here. We were looking at some of the other products for once. Um, you know, you've got a little one. And looking at Young Living has some. And the insect repellent I used, actually, last year I made a rollerball for the dogs. And we used it straight. Mm -hmm. Deep free, 100% plant-based. Looked for an age... Um, on on there if there was an age because I remember some of the well a lot of them say don't use on infants you know and it's like oh, yeah. what are you gonna do if you're outside this says not to put on their hands and keep away from eyes and mucous membranes um, adult supervision required when applying to children and it, it, I will repeat it says don't reply uh, apply to their hands so this is going to be safe for you to put and you could even I would feel comfortable even Putting it on them but you could even put on their clothes if you weren't sure um, but here's a good option and it, and it smells good it's I better. remember Megan made a spray bottle yeah with she made a spray it. bottle mm -hmm. I made um, with oils and yeah. I made a royal roller ball because you could even put this in a spray bottle if you felt more right you could do that and you could even dilute sure. it too if you mm -hmm. wanted but I I did the roller ball because yeah. I'm petting it on the dogs mm -hmm. they don't like spray and then I looked at um you know Lumi has a after sun spray but it's also really good for um, um, itching and itch, a temporary relief of pain and itching associated with minor burns, sunburn, minor cuts, scrapes, insect bites, and mo minor skin irritations. And this said, um, children two years of age and older. So here's another option. You know, you don't need to do babies. We could, you could. I definitely would do something similar to what this has, only less concentrated. Mm -hmm. And then we, the sunscreen dilemma. Um, I haven't seen a sunscreen for anyone under six months, I don't mm -hmm. believe. I have not. But And this one says six months or older, but this is safe. This is going to be um, water resistant, but it, it's going to be safe for the baby with none of the um, other issue things that are in a lot of the other ones. So I thought these are some op options as we're gearing up. No, these two were new last year. Yeah. I think this was too. The Dilavidum, did they well, redo it? Well, they redid it. Yeah. Yes, they redid it. They reformulated it. Reformulated it. So just an after sun spray, because yep. I'd had the Lavidum. I thought they were going to keep them separate, but I don't think they have. I think they just went with that line. So, yes, those are some more options. Um, any of the oils, the kids line, any of the other oils just really diluted. There's mm -hmm. lots of options. So, um, you yep. know, because they have a, I think they're coming out with more things, but they did not expect this to go crazy. Yeah, so. it's been sold out for a long time, and if you didn't order it last fall, you know I'm on a lot of mommy manu or mommy manu, mommy pages for Young Living oils, and yeah, no one can get the the baby lotion, but the the baby oil itself um, will work just fine. So does a coconut oil if you mix in some lavender oil. Yeah, um, it should be good. Should be fine. Should be good, and hopefully they'll catch up. And I know they're working on a soap, I think, too, a cleaning bed. But that's something we'll probably address and make some. Oh, and you can use um, what is it? Just the Kids Sense bath gel. Okay, you can. You can use that. Yep, it's in in the Gentle Baby, and I think Melissa talks about it in her book too. Uh, you can use that. They have a Kids Sense. Um, I'm ordering that too, so Maddie can have it, and we have it on hand, just as backup. Cool. You know, so. Cool. Uh, and Adam Green. Young Living Royal Diamond, right? Mm -hmm. Royal Crown. Royal Crown. Royal Crown. 
um, yeah, he just had a baby about a couple weeks ago, him and his wife, and they live in Canada, and I've been following him on Instagram, him and his wife, Vanessa, and they use all the seedlings, they use everything. Um, she had a natural home birth in a water, they actually, like, had a blow-up water thing, she had a doula come, and oh, wow. it was, like, crazy, yeah, she had, like, inspirations on her wall, I mean, it was fascinating, mm. so, um, yeah, I follow them to see what they're kind of doing, because it's, like, right here. Right. And they're in the now, and this is their right. first baby, and so they're being careful and cautious. Very, and and if there isn't a product, and you we can't make one. I mean, there are other companies we've been researching. Mm -hmm. So, so use the Dirty app, and you can totally find those find. ones that don't use animals. Yeah, for don't testing. test on animals. Don't use organic. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's other options as well. So if you need a fit, like like I really just want a lotion, but they don't have one, I don't want to make it. Right, there are options, so yeah. you're be aware. But we like to try and stick with our company because well, just like the product. That's the thing safe. is, I was going to purchase some diapers and I'm surprised. Not only does the one that you prefer to use test on animals. I know. Is that terrible? I didn't know And that. there's chemicals. There's a lot of chemicals in, in a disposable diaper and I'm like, are you kidding? You know, and you'll need, dis you'll need disposable with, not yeah. everyone can do cloth. cloth. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and I was really surprised. I so know. I was bummed. So I, I don't know. Honest Company is one of them I'm checking out. I've, we've seen mixed reviews, mm -hmm. so I've got a friend that used them. I'm going to talk to her. Exactly. Um, this Saturday, oh, we're so bummed. I'm so bummed. Love Yourself <sighs> Enough event. Um, so ongoing. great, you guys. I know, I know. We had such a good time when we went last year. And it was life-changing. Stuff is just way too close to baby arrival, yeah. and I, I don't blame her. It'll be a long day anyway. So there are a few of us going. Um, we're really excited, and we want to be able to, you know, keep look for some posts from us and when yep. I get back I'm looking at I know St. Patty's is the following Saturday and it might be busy um, if if I'm not busy and I'm looking at options of maybe doing a little bit of this is what I learned because I know I'll come back all fired up mm -hmm. um, and and then the 24th there are a few of us planning a class we're just trying to find a location but we definitely have interest and um, that one we're probably keeping free because, and we have another one coming up. And then the seventh, I have a class in um, Maplewood. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And um, again, keep let us know if you want to gather up some of your friends and family, and we can do some sharing. And totally. Yeah. Otherwise, just keep watching us here and or asking questions and let us know. I think that's it. That is it. Do you yeah. Anything else? Nope. We should be here Monday unless. Probably the last Monday for oh, just yeah. a little bit. Depends. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, unless yeah. the nineteenth is out. The nineteenth <laughs> is out. I won't be coming live at the hospital. Please. Stop. I know you're busy, you but crazy. <laughs> so yes. we won't be doing that. Hopefully, I'll be posting. We'll be posting a little picture of that new baby mm -hmm. later on in the day, or maybe Tuesday or Wednesday or something. We'll give them some time. So, so we'll figure out, and we won't be going live on Wednesday that week either. Nope. <laughs> no, no, she'll be busy. Home, yeah. So, unless I find someone that wants to do a class with me or something, we will just plan let them enjoy time, and um, we'll answer questions and stuff, or I will. So, you guys have a really good day. Let us know if there's anything else we need. We'll talk to Stay you. Stay warm later. and safe. I know. Bye bye, everyone.